What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Wild Wolf Show. I'm the Big Bad Wolf, Benny. And I'm Wild Man Wes. Ah, uh, we're back on the tragic side again. Um, yep. The main zombie man, the greatest zombie movie maker of all time. George A. Romero. We thought that Adam West was going to be the worst one this year, but we, we've had a lot. We really we, have a lot. But this anytime one, we lose somebody, it's tragic, but especially somebody who does horror movies, that's our... If it weren't for George A. Romero, we wouldn't be to where we are with, like, Zombieland or The Walking Dead. We literally... I mean, there's a lot of things we wouldn't, we wouldn't have, like Resident Evil games, no. Left 4 Dead games would be gone. No. There would be a whole just genre of everything gone without this man. Yeah. Let's just go back to the very first one that started it all, Night of the Living Dead. Started in 1968. I mean, just think about that time period now, from then back, till now. Yeah, back when the MPAA was still getting off of the, the Hayes Act, where there were certain things you couldn't have. I mean... He pushed the barrier by having one of his main characters as a black man. I mean, seriously, back then that was ben. kind of like a yeah, Ben. I mean, that I mean that kind of rivaled around the same you know aspect of like the move, the original Guess Who's Coming to Dinner with Sidney Poitier. I mean, that was kind of that that line that people really didn't want to cross, but and Romero know, it, did it, it, and it worked. And especially at the end when he, he dies, died. Yeah, I mean, he's the only one who survived. They, they, they make it look like he was a zombie, anyways, which really pushed the barriers politically. And, I mean, we're not going to talk too much about that. Because, we don't talk about politics. Well, yeah, because, unfortunately, with some of the things going on nowadays, we could not we could be disbanded just because of opening our mouth about... So you know, all we're going to say yeah. about it is just it opened doors. Yeah. I mean, it really did. So, again, we just want to say, you know what, to the whole his whole family, we're here for you. We miss him already. I mean, yeah. On the plus side, though, I, I forget who was doing it. Um, I saw it on Facebook today. He, there was four unused movie scripts that they are going to use. I really hope so. So I'm very excited for that. I wish I could remember who said they were going to do it. But I just kind of glanced at my phone at work today when I was bored and I noticed it. So that's cool. On the plus side, I always do like to see when you have these scripts or something like that that didn't get used. And that's just like... And they use it posthumously. And then, you know, it's just kind of like, all right, well, we got one more from... It's kind of like the family guy with Adam West, how we got a couple more episodes after he and, died. And then with Carrie Fisher as well. And then with Carrie Fisher. I mean, there's so many ones to yeah. just... I mean, and, it's that, always tragic and that being when said, dies. like you, when you mentioned with all those scripts, I really hope that, you know, his, his wife, Christine, definitely wants to have, you know, the industry use them because it would be a great love letter to oh, his yeah. legacy. And I think we all deserve that as the fans. But because, if not, if not, we'll do it on the other side too, we'll flip it. If not, we understand we got a lot of great stuff from him. So if you want to keep these things just for yourself as a kind of like your last private moment with him, you know, last work of art that you only get to see, that's fine too. Yeah. If you want to share it with the rest of the world, that's awesome. If you want to keep it for yourself, you are entitled to that because that was your husband. I mean, shit, you knew him better than any of us. Yeah. But anyway, we just want to say we miss you, George. You gave us a lot of great horror movies. Yeah. You, get, you opened our eyes to a lot of political things. It's awesome. I mean, who would have thought a zombie movie would pu uh, you know push political thing so yeah that's why i say people always dog the horror genre but really horror genre is my favorite if, if it weren't for the horror genre alone we wouldn't have so many pop culture references i mean freddy krueger jason, jason michael myers michael chucky, chucky i mean all of them so don't dog and zombies alone i mean they, they make they're, they're probably the most overused monster right now yeah for a while there was vampires and now it's zombies with the walking dead thing but, but anyway guys so we just want to keep this nice and short and sweet again we miss you, buddy. Thank you for all the stuff you gave us. Uh, you can never be replaced. So, like I said, hopefully we get those four other scripts. If not, we got a lot of good stuff from you already, bud. Yeah, so rest in peace, George. Other than that, everybody, we hope you enjoyed this little quick, you know, tribute to George. And like I've said, and as Ben has said, to George's family, his wife Christine, We our condolences from the Wild Wolf Show go to you as well as the fans, everybody that worked with George and knew him personally. Until then, I'm Wild Man Wes. And I'm the Big Bad Wolf Benny. And we'll see you next time.